A disability rights campaigner who won a legal victory to oblige public transport providers to accommodate wheelchair users says he's still suffering discrimination. Doug Pawley from Weatherby started his legal battle when he was refused access onto his local bus. Seven years on, he says similar things are still happening as Carla Fowler now reports. Last week, Doug Pawley was waiting here in Weatherby to catch a bus to go to a volunteering commitment. The 412 arrived on time, complete with wheelchair accessible badge. But the driver refused to let Mr Pawley on, telling him it was down to a lack of extra staff and no risk assessment. It wasn't just that I was refused, it was the unpleasant way in which I was refused. It felt like I was being blamed for the situation or disbelieved or in general that I was being unreasonable for trying to catch that bus um, and causing hassle to all the other passengers and the driver, you know, which was very unpleasant. Back in 2017, Doug Pawley won a legal challenge at the Supreme Court, proving disabled people have the right to catch a bus and companies must make all reasonable efforts to provide full access. The 412 service was taken over by North Yorkshire County Council after a commercial operator dropped out. They gave us this statement. While we are not legally required to provide a wheelchair space on a 16-seat bus, we would want to try to accommodate the needs of every passenger. We are really sorry that the gentleman was not able to use this service and are reviewing how we might address this in future. This is something that all disabled people experience all the time. I feel like I have to challenge it, so I won't give up, but it, will, it does have a massive impact on me, not just the practical impact on the day, but the emotional and stress impact on an ongoing basis, you know. It's an uphill struggle, but Doug will continue to campaign for every disabled person's right to travel on public transport. Carla Fowler, BBC Look North, Weatherby.